Drake May is having his pro day today in lovely North Carolina. Hell yeah. We have some source sis on the ground who have worked with Drake May and maybe worked with like Tom Brady. Ooh. Maybe worked huh. with like Andrew Luck. Wow. Right. Maybe worked with like Peyton Manning. Okay. Right. And said that Drake May is the guy of this draft. Hell now, yeah. is he biased because he's a graduate of that particular school and he was also helping consult with that school this past year and yeah. his, I don't want to say retirement era, but like his retirement from coaching era, but can't get away from it completely because it's literally ingrained in his entire lifestyle is to be around football. We're talking about Clyde Christensen here, mm -hmm. who is <laughs> my coach at the Indianapolis Colts. Then he was down with Tampa Bay and he had Andrew and Peyton here and Tom, and he's been there for the last year just consulting, advising, and everything like that. Not allowed to be on the field, but in the meeting rooms and stuff like that. It's like this new role that a lot of teams have instituted. He says this guy's the guy. Yeah. He says uh, he's, he's Andrew. Mm -hmm, he said, mm -hmm. when I'm talking to him, I'm talking to Andrew. Interesting. Which is a very fascinating thing because Andrew went to Stanford. He went to North mm -hmm. Carolina. So you're immediately going to assume that Andrew, much bigger nerd sure. than he is in North Carolina. Yeah. And we've heard the shit talking from his family and everything like that. He goes, they're both nerds. Okay, they look the same. Drake May might be a little bit faster than Andrew Luck. Whoa. And he said he's not saying that he's going to have the exact accomplishments of Andrew Luck because obviously Andrew Luck was an incredibly special player. But he's saying whenever he's dealing with Drake May, talking to Drake May, watching the film of Drake May and what he's going to prove in the pro day on the board and also throwing around for people, is he is very similar to Andrew Luck. And uh, he says if anybody doesn't draft him, they're going to regret it. Yeah. That's just how mm. it's going to be. He said other quarterbacks might be. NFL quarterbacks as well, but he, right, 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 yeah. right, right, which is how he talks, mm -hmm. says this is an NFL guy, no questions asked. So that's very high respect coming from a guy who has a lot of respect amongst his peers around the NFL. I assume he's going to be catching up with a lot of old friends that are GMs and coaches mm -hmm. for his 20-plus years in NFL being a quarterback coach, but he's singing the praises of Drake May, and it's not because he's going to get credit for it. No. It's because he's been around him for a full year, saw him experience highs whenever they were potentially going to the college football play playoff, yep. lows, new teams around him, NCAA suspensions to like his number one weapon, yep. him potentially getting an offer of $5 million to go other places, not going. It's like everything about Drake May, Clyde Christensen, former NFL coach, now advisor over there in North Carolina, screams NFL guy. So now you start looking at like number two overall pick. Yep. Because the commanders are sitting there. They need a quarterback, obviously, of the future, if mm -hmm. that's what they're going to do with a whole new face, whole new ownership, whole new everything. Are they going to get Jaden Daniels after what Jaden Daniels did yesterday at his pro day? That elbow is interesting. Yeah, yeah. it is weird. That, el that, elbow, be an alien. that elbow is very interesting. He could spin it. But, like, Drake May now is the topic of conversation, and everything we're hearing from people that are close to him, it's like – Drake May is going to be a guy for the next 15 years. Yeah. Your thoughts, Con, man, is the Patriots at number three, and there's a chance that Drake May is available, but there's also a chance that Drake May slides up to two. Yes. And the way Clyde was talking, like, hey, don't think Chicago's yeah. not doing a little bit of snooping around on what Drake May could potentially be in the NFL as well. That's a wild thing to hear because we've all assumed Caleb's the guy, mm -hmm. then Jaden, and we heard Drake fell. But yes. instead, it seems like it's going the opposite direction. Yeah, especially with J.J. flying up. Like People are talking about him going three over Drake now, which has been kind of wild. But as a Patriots fan, I love this because I have kind of talked myself into Drake May, if you will, these last couple weeks. And then you hear the stuff from the source, Sis, about Drake May, and it's like, okay, hold Hold on. We might be getting, you know, what happened with the Chargers and Herbert. You might be getting that guy that falls, that doesn't, you know, he doesn't go. He's not the first quarterback. He's not the second quarterback. He's the one that everyone's like, yeah, who knows? Maybe he will be good. Maybe he won't. And because of that, because of the size, I mean, I expect Drake May to throw an 80-yard touchdown pass today <laughs> and him to be the favorite to be number one overall. But he's so big, which so is something big. that people are going to see whenever they see him. Yeah. You know anything about these college quarterbacks at all going into the draft part? Well, you know what? I know that. All of them are dual mm -hmm. quarterbacks. All of them can move. Dual threats. Yep. See, yep. They can move out of the pocket. You know, and I've been, you know, I've been listening, you know, listening to the analysts, listening to you guys, and I'm well, just trying to see. Don't listen to us. What, what is the knock on Drake? So his team did not win. Like, uh, they're bad. They're bad. Yeah. Okay. They lost a bad team. They lost to, like, my big takeaway during the football season about it was, like, if you're on a college football playoff run, with maybe the best quarterback in the draft. At that time, it was being talked about. Drake May might be the guy. They lost to a non-sold-out stadium. Like, they lost their college football playoff hopes 
in a non sold out stadium against Virginia. And it's like, for me, optically, that was just tough. Like, it was tough for me to handle that. But then as people start explaining the team around him, you start doing some research. It's like, this guy could have transferred and mm -hmm. every stadium would have been sold out that he played in because of where he could have went. Yep. And the team would have been 10x what his team was this year. So there's a lot of conversation around Drake May about like, they didn't win as much, mm -hmm. but is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because good thing is he was loyal to a bad team. Bad thing is he didn't get a chance to prove in like a college football playoff game or in a national title run whether or not he's going to be able to do his thing. That's but, the big convo. About but, but that seems unfair. Yeah, it is. yeah, yeah like for that's, sure. That's, that's football. Yeah. That's not fair in any team sport because you could be doing your job, but the rest of the guys around you are just not that damn good. And How yeah. is that an, an indictment on him? Well, the NCAA also kept like his best player yeah. off the field for yeah. like seven weeks, wide receiver, that he wasn't allowed to play for no reason. It was no classic reason. NCAA doing NCAA dumb things. But like, yeah, that's football, though. That's how these quarterbacks but, get judged. But how much pressure is on the Chicago Bears to get this right? Oh, oh man. Like, Ryan Poles, yeah. It, this, is, this is game changing, mm -hmm. right? When was the last time you had this many quarterbacks and that, that were at this status? That, so know, I guess it was Joey the, Tua. Yeah, I've heard yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, that was last. And one, then probably. I mean, they all worked out. But like the most, the last time it was this many quarterbacks in the first round was the Mac Jones, Trevor yeah. Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, Justin Fields. Fields, and a lot of those did not work out. No. So, for, so for. that's like it's it's a real roll of the. It really is like what C.J. Stroud just did down in Houston. Right. Ab, H town abnormal. Yeah, yeah. 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 H town. Yeah. Oh, another? I'm, 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 a, I'm just saying I'm an ambassador for the Texans, if you didn't know. Yeah, H-Town. Another Texans? Yeah. Well, you guys were supposed to suck. That's what was <laughs> supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. You were supposed yeah. to be an ambassador of a shitty franchise. Uh -huh. For a while. For the next 10 years. Yeah. For 15, maybe. You know, and now all of a sudden, D'Amico comes in with a good energy. Yeah. And then you get Will Anderson on the defensive mm -hmm, side of the ball. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, C.J. Stroud becomes the greatest rookie quarterback mm -hmm. in the history of the NFL. But and, that's not normal. Usually these guys suck. And we lost Tank. Yeah. In the middle of the yeah. season, uh -huh. who right. was a game changer mm -hmm. out of U of H. So, I mean, I'm just looking at it right now. I had tweeted this during the season because I'm a huge Caleb Williams guy. Okay. Like, I'm huge on You're that. in L.A. a lot. Uh, yeah, I am three days out the week, but that's him. That's, that's half neither. the year. That's, yeah, that's but, big time. Yeah, yeah but, I, but I, I've been watching him, okay? And I tweeted, I said he's the Patrick Mahomes of college when I was watching him play because he's that dynamic. Mm -hmm. To be honest, which I just don't see any other quarterback that's better. Damn, y'all quick. Yeah, that's CD <laughs> Baby back there doing some searching out there. 237,000 views. Uh, people respect your, your yeah. NFL oh, yeah. views as well. That's I mean, a lot. I mean, I don't know if it was respect or just, you know, I don't know what the comment section was saying. <laughs> oh, you think there's a lot of people saying, oh, Bert, shut up. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know. Yeah, you're talking about Carry on. Yeah. <laughs> you think NFL GMs or owners or coaches care about their college record and has it helped because Mahomes, mm. Mahomes I think was 500 at Texas Tech and Josh Allen, I think it a, not a losing season at Wyoming, but not the best season. Do you think they, do you think they care? So my or immediate thought right there is we should FaceTime Brandon Bean right now. Yes. And just see what he has to say. But that'd be putting him in a bad spot. But he did take Josh Allen. He did. After mm -hmm. the bad season. And Daniel Jeremiah actually just said yesterday yeah. about Drake May. He said, I'm old enough to remember. And he even mentioned Jordan, Jordan Love. Love. Yeah. And, and that's what I was going to say is, like, as a Packers fan, when you were looking at that stuff and seeing just, like, his highlights and you look at his stats, it's like, why the hell are they taking this guy? But then a couple years later, you realize, like, oh, well, he was, he was like, the only guy on his team that got drafted.